Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the HB Health Hub here with your coach HB. Hope you are well. Today we're going to be talking about the 45 degree hip extension. Now, you probably would have seen one of these machines in your gym. A lot of times I see people doing this exercise more for lower back. So it's also called a, a 45 degree back extension. And there's nothing wrong with, with that at all if the goal is to train the lower back. Now, I'm going to show you the exercise to train the hips. So this is a 45 degree hip extension. The goal of this exercise is to work the glutes through its short range. So we want to make sure we contract in the glutes at the top, okay? It's very rare that in our day-to-day -day lives we have our glutes contracted and shortened. It's very, very rare. We typically do a lot more of this. Um, going upstairs, we're sitting down. Very rarely do we get into a short range. So I think it's key to, to do some kind of movement in your exercise regime where you are getting the glutes shortened and contracted as much as you possibly can. This is one of the exercises that could potentially do that. Uh, a key point on how to set up the machine. Number one thing you want to make sure is some of these machines are going to move up and down. So this one here can go up and down, okay? The key here on the pad, you want to make sure that your hip crease here is always above the pad, okay? So think about having, so if I'm going to set up here, I want to make sure that my hip has got enough space so that I can move up and down and I'm not restricted by the pad, okay? That's number one. Number two, where do you put your feet, okay? A lot of these machines will have something to brace onto with your feet. So this has got this little bit here where my heel will go against that. Some of them will have a bit of a higher pad and uh, it might be below on the top of your calf. Doesn't matter. As long as you can be nice and stable and braced onto there, that's really, really important. The other thing you need to think about with your feet is you want to keep it about at the shoulder width. That's roughly for me where I feel comfortable and most of my clients feel comfortable there too. Um, now, some people say if you take your toes slightly out, you get more engagement through the glute, you get a better feel contraction through the glute. If that's you, there's nothing wrong with a slight toe out, absolutely no problem at all. Sometimes having just feet straight also works well. As long as you can contract the glute and you feel that contraction, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So set up, first of all, you want to make sure. Make sure that heel is against the support of the back, whether it's on your calf or, or your heel. From here, make sure there's enough gap between your hip bone and the pad. And that's pretty much all you need to do to actually get set up. You see, I've got my feet straight. Sometimes you can have my feet slightly out. Also, okay, if it gives you more um, feel on the glute, absolutely no problem at all, okay? Now, once you've got that set up there, we really, the key there is to manage everything from here to here, okay? The problem is we have a lot to manage there. And if the glutes are slightly weaker, there's gonna be a lot of movement through here, okay? We really, really, really need to minimize that movement as much as we possibly can. But no movement through the abs, no movement through the, through the lower back, no movement through the extension of the neck, none of that, okay? So keeping a strong abs, strong core is really, really important to brace everything in, okay? And also keeping a neutral spine. As you guys are aware, I always say, if this is your spine and this is your head, back and your head, your spine needs to stay still the whole way through. At no point do you wanna bring your head up in the air like that, and at no point do you wanna arch your lower back or round your lower back, okay? Keep everything nice and still. So abs tight, always be ready for a punch. You don't wanna be like, Ugh, squeezing so hard where everything else is like, so hard to do because you're squeezing that so hard, but just enough so you've got contraction through the abs, everything's nice and tight and you're bracing nice into it, okay? So, make sure your foot is nice and stable against something at the back. Your hip is nice and stable through here. Now, the starting position is gonna be here. I'm gonna tuck my chin slightly in because I wanna keep a neutral spine. I wanna keep my abs nice and tight. And from this position here now, all I wanna think about is contracting my glutes as hard as I possibly can. When my glutes get to the top of the movement and I can no longer move with my glutes, that's the end of the movement. I do not want to use my lower back to get any higher. The point is not to get higher, the point is to get this ass as contracted and as short as it possibly can go, okay? So, I also wouldn't go all the way down here because I'm not going to be able to contract from here, okay? Active range is a really important thing when it comes to train any muscle. So, what I mean by that is, if I'm here, can I contract my bicep? Yes, I can. If I'm here, not so much, okay? So I wanna be in a position where I can contract the muscle before I move. So if I go too low here, 
I'm not able to contract my glutes there because I'm too far down and I'm too lengthened. I'm, I haven't got that connection with my brain to my glutes. So I want to come to a position where can I contract my glutes? Here, okay? Here I can contract my glutes. That's my starting position now. Chin tucked in, abs stay tight. From here I want to squeeze my bum as hard as I can as I come up and I can't go any further than that. That's as far as my glutes contract and I've got to stop there, okay? If I come any higher there, it's going to be all lower back, okay? We don't want that to happen. So I'm here, chin tucked in, abs stay tight. Squeeze my glutes before I move. Yep. And now from there, contract as hard as I can to the top. Hold it there. Contract. Slowly down. Pause. Squeeze. Up. Contract and slow down. Again, we don't want to be doing any of this, okay, guys? That's all movement through the torso. We want to keep that torso as still as we possibly can. The movement should all be happening through that glute and contracting at the top. Really, really important. Now, let's think about... Tempo, no bouncing. We know this is really, really important. We don't want to get on this machine and just think about moving up and down. We want to think about the muscle doing all the work and con control it. Don't rush it. So, as per most tempos, what I would like to think about is a pause at each range, pause at the end of the beginning range and a pause at the top. And then in between, what do we do? So if I'm starting here, I want to think of a two second contraction, one, Two, hold, one, two, three, four. Pause, one, two, hold, one, two, three, and four. Again, I don't wanna be doing any of this. Okay, I'm not in a rush to do anything. I don't wanna use anything else apart from my glutes. Okay, guys, this is the 45 degree hip extension. Hopefully this has been a good one for you to incorporate into your uh, plan. Honestly, guys, I couldn't tell you how important it is to really get something in your plan that works the glutes in the contracted short range. And I'm gonna be showing a few more exercises as we go along to also do that. But this is one of my favorite ones and one we use on a regular basis. It is a bit complex, a lot of things to manage, but if you practice and do it slowly, you will get there and you're able to then add some weight. You can hold some dumbbells at the bottom then to make things harder, a band, whatever you want. As we go along, you'll get stronger progressively. You will get better at it. Then you can start adding some weight to this as well. But don't worry about the weight, focus on getting the movement right. Your body weight in itself is gonna be a challenge. So hopefully that's been uh, helpful for you guys. If it has, please like, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next exercise.